So here we have the clock spring and we have removed it from the car. So what we're gonna do is we will open this up and show you how it works. So before you remove this, ideally what you wanna do is straighten up your front wheels, have the steering wheel in the center, then you go ahead and remove the steering wheel and access the clock spring. When you, before you actually take off the clock spring, if you're gonna reuse it, just put some tape on it so it doesn't rotate, doesn't spin around if you're reusing it. But the problem is sometimes is you might be installing a clock spring, a spring from another car. And this clock spring has a limited number of turns to the left and to the right. Usually about three left and three uh, turns to the right. So, uh, how do you know like where is the center? We're gonna look at that, but also we're gonna see how the clock spring looks inside. So, right here it has, um, we have removed these uh, one, two, three, four bolts on the side. And then all you need to do in this case, it also clips down here. So you insert a small screwdriver and you lift this up and it'll come right out. So, there's also these clips. Now you don't need to open this because when you replace a clock spring, you don't need to worry, it comes as a whole piece, but we'll, for demonstration we will open this clock spring and we have unclipped it all around here and see here and then here you can see these uh, terminals as you can see on the back here it has the plug where it connects to the other end and then these wires go to the airbag your horn and steering wheel buttons um, you can see here that's the ribbon right there and uh, it allows you to turn this several times Turn the steering wheel, so we'll just turn the steering wheel to the right, and then you can turn it all the way to the left. Now, if you're using or installing a used clock spring, this is what you need to do. Don't You don't need to open this, but go ahead and spin it. Unless you really know the center and the clock spring comes already in the center, you're going to need to do this. Um, so, spin it all the way to the left, and you're going to hear a little bit, you're going to feel a little bit of resistance right there. You won't go too hard because you think you're gonna damage this. Then count the turns one, two, three, four, five, five and a half. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go about two and a half turns, and that should be our center for this clock spring. So that's half one, two. So right there, uh, you might have to move this a little bit when you line up your steering wheel and everything, but that should be the center. Now you probably need to calibrate the steering angle sensor, but there's a chance you might not have to. And the way that you know that you need to is uh, as soon as you start to drive, you might have the ABS light on, especially if you drive around and then the ABS light comes on or the traction control. If any of those lights come on, then you know that you need to carry out a uh, clock spring calibration. If you have a scanner, you can do that yourself. If you don't, you can just take it to the dealer or any mechanic and they can just carry out that calibration for you.